it was one bad night, maybe that's what the White House has told us over and over and over again. But I think the issue today, and really the issue we started seeing it around Thursday afternoon Eastern time, was that the goodwill that President Biden had built up over the course of his three years in the White House, over the course of his lifetime of public service, it essentially ran out. And from Thursday, Thursday night, the debate, until essentially Tuesday morning, we just didn't hear enough from the White House. We didn't hear enough from President Biden himself to reassure the country and to reassure Democrats that, that he's able to not only do the job now, but do the job for the next four years. What's it got to take for the hierarchy? Pelosi, Schumer, two Clintons, two Obamas. Let's put them both in there because people are talking a lot about Mrs. Obama as now. Uh, at the hierarchy of the Democratic Party, what's it got to do for them to make that call uh, and make that visit and say, time's up, Joe? You know, I think what it's going to take is a, an absolutely clear picture and, and a clear path forward to suggest that President Joe Biden is, is not the candidate who is going to beat Donald Trump. Now, it may be that no Democratic candidate beats Donald Trump in November, but I think the early polling since Thursday has showed us that the path forward is not clear. You know, there's absolutely been a call for President Biden to step aside. It's not clear who would fill his role. We at Signum believe it would absolutely be the Vice President Harris. Um, you know, in, in the most recent CNN poll, Vice President Harris actually polls ahead of President Biden against Donald Trump. But, you know, we heard Congressman Doggett say that uh, a, a sort of a contested convention or similar would be messy, but would eventually strengthen the Democratic Party heading into November. I think that's wishful thinking. I think it's naive. I think the, the greatest fear is that Joe Biden steps aside and Democrats essentially fall into turmoil. So when it becomes clear, if it becomes clear that the President Biden's candidacy is worse than sort of this, this all out brawl, then maybe we start to hear from, as you said, the Obamas, the Clintons, uh, you know, Leader Schumer, Jeffries, Nancy Pelosi, certainly. Uh, but I don't think that we've seen that that, uh, you know, pivot point. I don't think we've seen polling to show that, that Joe Biden is not the best candidate for the Democrats right now. Well, can I just bring up Plan B? There doesn't seem to be one. There's been a discussion as to whether it should become a Harris, that uh, natural donor money that's been raised on the Biden-Harris ticket would go to her. So that would be a sort of an easy segue. But her popularity seems to be a massive hurdle here for some Democrats. Just walk us through this. How electable would Harris be? Yeah, you know, honestly, it's a really good question. And, and common knowledge does suggest that Vice President Harris isn't very popular around the country. Uh, I would push back on that a little bit. She is incredibly popular among Democrats. And, and that's really the question that we're trying to answer now. It's not who's the most popular across the country. It's not who's the most popular with independents and Republicans. It's who's the most popular and who's the most capable of leading the Democratic ticket. I think that is Vice President Harris, uh, if it's not going to be President Biden. Uh, she performs the best head-to-head -head against Donald Trump today. Uh, we saw that essentially this week for the first time ever. Uh, she's also incredibly popular among Democrats, just generally speaking, with favorability between 85 and 90 percent. So, you know, whether or not Vice President Harris would be able to beat Donald Trump in November, that's obviously an open question. Uh, we would have to see, A, who her running mate is, B, whether or not the Democratic Party would unify behind her, all of the governors that you were just talking about in, in the opening segment. Uh, but I do think that she is, among Democrats and potentially around the country, more popular than some of the governors who are, who are nice in theory. You know, Gavin Newsom, Gretchen Whitmer, uh, Mayor Pete Buttigieg. Uh, all of those names are possibilities, uh, but they don't poll as well as, as Vice President Harris today.